It's time now for a look at the latest in local sports and sports. Atlanta Braves are home this weekend as they host the Milwaukee Brewers. Game time tonight, 7.20 p.m. Braves win the final game in New York, 6-3, the final. And that brings the Braves to within four games of the first place New York Mets. A lot of trades taking place in Major League Baseball. We'll find out today if the Braves can make a move or two to help down the stretch. LA Dodgers made a couple of moves on Thursday. They pick up pitcher Max Serger. And shortstop Trey Turner from the Washington Nationals for several prospects. The Dodgers pick up Scherzer before San Diego does, as the Padres are also trying to trade for the three-time Cy Young Award-winning pitcher. Again, the Dodgers pick him up for the stretch run. In the American League, the New York Yankees acquire all-star first baseman Anthony Rizzo from the Cubs. Yankees also traded and acquired all-star Joey Gallo from the Texas Rangers. As teams are looking to improve or trade players, depending on where they are in the standings at this time, hopefully the Braves make a move or two today to help down the stretch and push for that division title. Again, the Braves currently four games out of first. Braves and Mets don't meet again until the final three games of the season, October 1st through the 3rd in Atlanta. At the Olympics, after two days of golf with two days to go, USA's Xander Shoffley has a lead at minus 11. Again, the medals will be handed out on Sunday in Tokyo, Japan. It's unanimous. The SEC voted to allow both Oklahoma and Texas into the SEC set to begin in the year 2025. With the additions, it will make the SEC the third most lucrative sports marketing entity behind only the NFL and the NBA. In other sport news, Wayne County's football season kicks off just three weeks from this Saturday as the Jackets kick off at 9 p.m. Saturday, August 21st in the Statesboro Annual Eric Russell Classic. They'll take on Statesboro High School. Jackets will be playing next Friday night in a scrimmage at Glen Academy as they'll conduct a controlled scrimmage at 7 p.m. at Glen County Stadium. WIFLFM will be on hand broadcasting that scrimmage and broadcast all Wayne County football games this coming season. Again, this Saturday, Waycross, Georgia, 912 Sports Hosting Media Day. Teams all across the southeast with the 912 area code will be represented. Coaches and players will be on hand to preview the upcoming season. WIFLFM will be on hand. We'll bring you comments from some of the head coaches we'll be facing this season on next week's sportscast. Again, the public's invited to that media day. Again, it takes place this Saturday, 9 to 12, at Memorial Stadium in Waycross, Georgia. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.